day 17. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I am focusing on bettering my mind, body, and soul. If you're interested in learning more about that, of course, as always, click the video above or just check out my daily goals posted below. We are so close to the end here, guys. I can see that finish line. It's right over there. I'm so, so excited to get there. So quick update, yesterday in my video, I talked about my back really bothering me and it was my lower back. And the update today is that I woke up, it still felt very sore. Like it's very hard for me to do simple things like just like bend over and it's my lower back. And I'm also wondering if it's some form of like sciatica, which is like really depressing because I'm in my thirties in case you didn't already know that. And I feel like when I turned 30, my body just like stopped working the way that it used to work and it just depresses me. So it could be that, but what happened was is I, I just did a bike ride, which I'll show you when we get to the body section today. And all of a sudden it feels fine. So what, <laughs> like if you have any advice for like what to do with like lower back pain after jogging, let me know. So let's jump right into today. We're gonna start with my mind. with Martha Beck's Way of Integrity. Today, I actually really enjoyed the reading for today. My goal, my hope, I should just say this from the outset, is to finish this book before the challenge is up. So I am ramping up the number of pages that I'm reading every day. I set out to do 10 pages a day. I should modify that and just say at least 10 pages a day. Because the book itself, if I did 10 pages, I would not finish it within the 21 days. But I want to finish this book on this challenge. So let's get into it. We begin with some very wise words. Know what you really know, feel what you really feel, say what you really mean, and do what you really want. What that means is that right now, right now is the time to spend doing what you really want all of the time. And in doing that, it's not selfish to put yourself sort of first and do things that you actually want to be doing. In doing that, you are going to radiate love. I think there's a lot of truth to that. I feel that I am actually a, a kinder person to others when I feel like I'm living in the way of integrity. When I feel like I'm being my authentic self, I feel like I can welcome others into my world in a way that I'm not able to do when I'm miserable or just not feeling like I'm, you know, living out my truth. Here's the here's the truth, and she, this is Martha Beck, not me. I don't think I would ever say this to you, but, but this really struck me when I read this today. You don't have that much time left to live, so you might as well live it in the way of integrity. That's her point. At first I was like, geez, man, like that's really harsh. But, but she has a great point. Like we only have a finite number of days. We don't know the number of days. So why wouldn't we spend our lives living them the way that we want to be living them? For those of us, of course, who have the freedom to do that and the privilege to do that. Every single choice you make is a chance to turn to the life that you really want to be living. She calls these one degree turns, which just means that little by little, this is just an example, you could start to change your schedule around so that you're spending more time doing the things that you love and less time doing the things that you just can't stand. Little tiny incremental changes can make a huge difference. Spoiler alert, I think my next book is gonna be Atomic Habits by James Clear just so you know. And as she closes out this chapter, she tells us, she got this tattooed on her ankle, apparently, that the truth has legs. I like that. I like she put that on her ankle. I get that now. The truth has legs. Of course, what that means is that when you start living in your truth, your life is gonna unfold and it's gonna be rich and deep and full of purpose and meaning. And I think this is something that we are all striving to achieve, especially if you're on a health journey. 
All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next 10 to 20 pages. All right, so the body. I did a typical Peloton workout where I did a warm up, I did the ride, and then uh, did some stretching. I think the stretching is also helpful for my back issues, so I appreciate the stretching that Peloton offers. And finally, with the soul, let's meditate together to the nature that is outside of my apartment.
Okay, guys. Read the 10 to 20 pages today. I closed the move ring today because I went to the grocery store, hung out with some friends earlier, went all the way up to 700, and the total calories burned is 2,400 today. Never know how these two are connected. If anyone can explain that, let me know. Check. One gallon of water, absolutely. That's actually the easiest part of this challenge for me. I'm kind of surprised. Today was a regular day, thank goodness. And I went up to 1900 calories today, check. I meditated for the five minutes, check. And film and upload this accountability video, check. I'll see you guys tomorrow.